Hey guys, Ryu here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council with a version 4 combo guide on Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, if you already know how to play it, great. But uh, some people just need a little bit of help, and this is for you. So, the first thing I want to talk about is when you open like this, okay? So, say you have this, you know, in your opening hand. A lot of people will just go trade in. That's the wrong thing to do. Don't take it the wrong way, it really is. You always want to card to Kantu into Whitestone. And if you have another Dragon Tuner and it seems like a great thing because you got like Silver's Cry, always send the Whitestone because it's going to take one more out of your deck and that's going to be one more card closer to an out if in case you get into a bad situation. That's always something important to remember. You can always like set the Galaxy Serpent, let it die, and then, you know, just get it back that way. So that's always something to remember. I'm going to mention every single one of these cards, so bear with me. I'm just going to go over Maiden's Effect again with the triggering you can use for Bin Chalice or for Bin Lance. Or if you really want to get Saki, you can use Compulse or even a Book of Moon if you choose to run Book of Moon. You can even use Bright Star. She raises two levels, making her level three and gives you access to level seven. Or if you have a Blue Eyes on the field, you can easily go into this guy right here. You can go Star Eater and just go control the board. Um, so that's something, you know, you could do there. Now, Bright Star is not only limited to mating. What you could do is, if you Silver's Cry, the Galaxy Serpent. And then we target the Galaxy Serpent, or you can even do it this way with this guy. If you target him, he becomes level 6, and this is level 2. So, what you could do is, you can either Synchro, right? Say we're Synchroing. Um, obviously that's not how you Synchro, you send him to the graveyard, but I'm just making an example. So you can go to the Shooting, you can go to the Starter Spark Dragon. And then you can use his effect to... You know, next turn to target Maiden, and then Maiden's going to get you a blue eyes, and then look at look at this field. Look how great this field is. And then you can just go, you know what, I just want to Synchro, and I'm going to go, you know, Silver Dragon, and then Silver Dragon's going to get me blue eyes, and then this guy's going to protect him, or blue eyes, and I can just drop another tuner and make another one, keep protecting my field. Now, it seems silly to keep protecting your field, and I mention this a lot. <clears throat> But here's the thing, it 3,000 defense that spits out a 3,000 attack point monster turn after turn, or even a Trihorn. <clears throat> so you can build upon rank 8, or you can just drop Thunder Rents and have these guys on board, like, stuff. So, one of my favorite things to do, I'm just going to get some of this out of the way, right, is say I make the Ajirai play, and it goes through, you know, my opponent doesn't have back row where I lanced it, and I go to this. So, what I do is I do this great thing called tributing, and I summon this guy. <clears throat> Some of you are like, why would you do that? You could just banish it. That's not the point. Now that this is in the graveyard, when I special summon it, Azurai's effect is going to kick in again, and I'm going to get protection. So my red eyes is now protected. So now, next turn, I can bring out two dragon types. Whatever I feel like doing. You can even go Trident Dragon, but I include it in the deck because I don't really like it. So, you know, say I want to go these two. I can go another Azurai's, and then I can bring three monsters. That's the whole point. It's about building the advantage. Or if you really want to, like, go into it... <clears throat> Um, I'm going to bring Galaxy Serpent back through Ajrais, and then normal summon a Bright Star, and then target the Galaxy Serpent and overlay into, you know, something rank 4, or even go into the Manga Stardust again. You can go for that 101, you can go for that Digusto Emerald, you can go for that Evil Swarm, or that Star Leech. So you have plenty of options there to get over threats. <clears throat> now, the main thing to remember is, and this is why I see a lot of people on Dev Pro like, having issues with when you leave her on the field no one's really going to attack into it they by this point they know not to attack into it unless they're ready to deal with the blue eyes so either a you need the protection for blue eyes or b if you trigger her off go for Azrize because then he's going to keep giving you blue eyes maiden doesn't really matter not to sound that way she's a great card don't get me wrong but you want to use her as your tuner you want to use her to bring out the Azrize so you can spam the field and then you can control the board by constantly bringing out dragons and constantly making Oz rise and getting protection, putting one to attack mode and attacking because this one, you want, like, the one you summon, you always want in defense mode. The one that's not summoned that turn, throw it in attack mode and you start swinging with it. That's how, you know, you really want to play the deck. And now, um, this card, this card is just silly because, well, we can bring back these guys or blue eyes or trihorn. So there's that, right? So, to build upon that, you can use Nuit. So, Nuit works like Maiden. So, if I target it with Chalice, or I target it with Lance, or even Compulse. Compulse is a very sacky card in this deck. It, if only it was in higher numbers. Then I can bring out a Blue Eyes. Obviously, like, that's just crazy, right? But it's going to come out 0-0. Zero, zero. So, then I can play Silver's Cry, and get another Blue Eyes. I don't have one in front of me. Okay. 
So, see, I have two blue eyes, right? One in the graveyard, one brought out by his effect from the deck or from the hand or the graveyard. And uh, I'm gonna now I can make a freaking rain gate and I can go nuts. I can go to like Thunder Rim because he's not gonna matter at this point. Or I can use him and bring out this guy and go to Armandades or Catastor, which is gonna give me freaking huge advantage. Or I can target him with, I can use Bright Star, target Newitz, make him level six, Synchro for seven, which I can go Black Rose, and then I can easily Silver's Cry the Flame Lock Guard and go to level eight. Or I can bring out this guy instead when he's targeted, so he's level six and go into the level eights. I think that pretty much covers everything. And uh, one more thing to mention is, if you see an opportunity to win the game, okay, you have this. You can't go Thunder End with this. You, you need these guys. I know it's great to have two blue eyes, okay? I Trust me, I know how great it is. But if you can go this guy and win the game, or you can go this guy and win the game, you do it. But you don't want to do it on, like, huge back, or you want to take your time playing the deck. That's the, you know, that's the cool part. You can OTK or you can play, like, really slow. Um, one other thing I want to mention in this video, that's why I was getting my traps out, is... When you go, and I mentioned this in deck profile, when you go Ajurize, right? We're just saying that that's Ajurize. And he has the built-in protection for that turn. Playing Mirror Match, my, my opponent summons a Blue Eyes, and for whatever reason, it's equipped with Axe of Despair, you know, or something that's going to make it 100 points higher, so I can actually kill this by battle. I can play Torrento, Blue Eyes is going to go away, and Ajurize is going to stay to play another day. And then he's going to get me a Blue Eyes to my board, and then I could do Rinse Repeat, or I can go Whitestone, Synchro out, get a blue vice in a hand, and then get field advantage with no hand advantage loss. That's what this deck is about. Protection, advantage, and control. If you know how to do that, then you're perfectly fine with the deck, and that's pretty much it. If you like what you saw, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next video. I'm ready for the Gear Council. Peace.